In this video, I'll show you how to turn 50 almost identical pictures into a work of art. Adorama TV presents Take and Make Great Photography with Gavin Hoey, where you'll learn how to take stunning photos and then polish them in post-production. Hello, I'm Gavin Hoey, and you're watching Adorama TV, brought to you by Adorama, the camera store that has everything for us photographers. And today, you join me down on the beach, where we're going to do a photography shoot with a bit of a difference. Now, if you like your photography to be arty, to be a little bit more than straight photography, I've got a really simple, really brilliant tutorial for you, and it involves taking pictures. Lots of very similar pictures. And then we're going to use Photoshop to bring them together and we'll have a beautiful painterly effect at the end. Now, to achieve this, I've got a couple of things. I've got a, a lovely beach, which is handy. Uh, I've got my model down there who is holding a red umbrella. And we've got a beautiful blue sky. You can see there's been a little bit of planning involved with this. And all I'm going to do is just take a picture and then I'm going to repeat the picture over and over again. But each time it'll be ever so slightly different as we walk our way along the beach. So that's the theory. The shooting part of things doesn't get simpler than this. Now, as far as photography goes, I want to make sure that everything changes slightly. So we're going to walk along the beach, except my model. And that means I'm going to try and keep her exactly the same distance, exactly the same pose as much as I possibly can, shot to shot to shot. And we're going to do this a lot of times. OK, so let's take the first picture and get going. OK, so here we go. A little bit breezy. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to frame up my shot by looking through the viewfinder and trying to pick out the middle of the umbrella and I'm going to put it over one of my little focus points and every picture it'll be in that position. That helps me to get consistency. Okay, so here we go. Let's just find my position. Okay, here we go. Take the picture. Brilliant. Okay, so that gives me one shot. Now all I need to do is move along the beach a little bit further. So Freya, do you want to take a couple of steps to your right? And again, brilliant, that's it. I'm gonna take another picture. Here we go, so frame it up as close to exactly the same as before, take the shot. Now we're gonna do this again and again and again. So Frey, take another few steps across. Brilliant, and here we go again. Same shot, same positioning. Now, you might think that all of these are going to look the same, but when they join together, there'll be small differences, small nuances in the, the gravel, the, the, the pebbles here, the, the sky. Everything will be slightly different, and that will work as a beautiful arty picture. How many of these pictures should you take? Well, simply, the more the better. A hundred would be good. I might be asking you a bit much. Ten as an absolute minimum. Twenty would be better. Fifty would be ideal. But basically, the more you take, the better this will look. So. Let's keep taking some pictures. Okay, Frey, take a couple of steps across. Okay, and here we go. Bang, and again. Brilliant. Bang, and again. And again. <laughs> and again. Okay, so I'm gonna keep doing this for the next few minutes just to get as many of these as we can, and then we'll bring them into Photoshop and we'll bring them to, uh, all together as one single image. You don't have to watch me do this repeatedly because we're gonna go into Photoshop right now. Surprisingly, the photography was actually quite quick. Once we got into a rhythm, we took all 50 pictures, actually we took about 60 pictures, in just a few minutes. And fortunately, the Photoshop bit is equally simple. So let's jump into Photoshop and see how to join 50 images together into one picture. So first of all, I'm working in Photoshop CC, although you can do this in older versions of Photoshop as well. And I'm going to use a very neat trick that Photoshop has hidden away under File, Scripts, and Load Files into Stack. Now I've already gone through and I've sorted through to the, the 50 images from that image sequence. So I'll go to Browse and I'll go find them. Here they are. I'm just going to click on the first one and then press Control A or Command A on a Mac, so they all become selected, and then I hit OK. Now that will load all 50 images into the Load Layers interface. It just takes a second or two, and there we go. Now I'm not going to put a tick in Automatically Align Source Images, and I'm not going to tick Smart Objects. Basically, I'm just going to click OK. 
So what Photoshop now does is it goes and gets those 50 raw files, applies any raw settings that I may have added, and then opens them in Photoshop, putting each one on its own separate layer. Now think about it, if I had to do this by hand, open, copy, you know, paste, go back and repeat, it would take me forever to do. And it's got 50 images to do. So don't be surprised that even Photoshop working flat out will take a couple of minutes to apply all 50 layers as layers. Now, one thing you can do at this point is uh, sit back, <coughs> try not to spill your coffee, have a, have a nice cup of tea. You'll find that much more relaxing. And join me in just a second. Don't forget to check out Adorama's latest contest and your chance to win amazing prizes. Oh, there we go, that's it. Done, okay, so actually that didn't take long at all, just a, a couple of minutes, I haven't even finished my tea. But the next bit in Photoshop is really straightforward. Let's have a little look. So we've done the hardest part really, we've got all individual pictures as layers and they all look basically the same, but as I flick through them, can you see that each one is just a little bit different? There's just a, an air of randomness to each and every shot. And that's really what makes this technique so successful. Now what I'm gonna do is go right down to the very bottom of my layers, click on the very bottom layer, and then make a brand new layer. Layer, new layer, click OK. And on that layer, I'm gonna fill it with black using edit and fill. And from the contents, I'll make sure that black is selected and click OK. Now it won't actually be the bottom layer, it will be one up, so we'll just drag that down right to the bottom, like so. Now that's an important step, don't miss it out. Then we're gonna click on the layer above, scoot right back up to the top, hold the shift key, and click on the top layer so they all become selected. Now all I need to do is just drop the opacity so that each layer forms just a small part of the whole picture. Now there are 50 layers that make up my picture. Now you might do a bit of maths, 100% divided by 50 layers, 2% per layer. It's not quite that simple. I wish that it was. But instead what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the opacity slider and we're just gonna bring it down and down and down. And as I do, you'll see that the individual pictures start to merge and combine. And as I go lower and lower, it becomes more and more painterly. Now if I go too low, it starts to get quite dark and we lose a lot of the detail. So too low is not a good idea. Let's just bring it back up. I reckon about 8% looked about right. Once you've got it good, just go to layer and choose to flatten the image. And then just to bring back a little bit of brightness, a little bit of detail, let's go to image adjustments, brightness and contrast. And I'll just put a little bit more brightness and a little bit more contrast into the shot, just like so. Click OK, and there you go. There's my image completed with all its glorious individuality and a super painterly effect. So there we go, that's a really simple technique and it'll work on anything that has a really obvious pattern like people, bicycles, shapes that are familiar and obvious to you. Now, if you've enjoyed this tutorial and you want to see more amazing videos from me and the other presenters here on Adorama TV, then all you've got to do is click on the subscribe button right there. <laughs> I'm Gavin Hoey. Thanks for watching. Do you want great looking prints at low cost? Be sure to visit our easy to use online printing service. Adorama Pix has professionals who treat your images with the utmost care that you can count on. For a quick turnaround on photos, cards, or albums, use adoramapix.com.